I have some exciting news for you today. You can now get early access to the premium version of RPG Playground. And in this video, I will show you which features are now available, how to use them and how to get your hands on the premium version at a discounted price, of course. So keep watching. If you are new here, I'm developing a tool for beginners to create their own role-playing games. Just go to rpgplayground.com, register for free and you can create your own games without coding. It's really simple. And then now I'll show you how it works. When you are creating games, you might bump into the limitations of the free version. At that point, you can go to the product page and order. You have three options, buy it at the early access price for those of you who want to make the best deal. If you want to support this project, you can also buy it at the full price. And a last option is for those who really want to give this project a boost. But whichever option you choose, you will get the same features. Once you ordered, save your current game and refresh the page. You will now have all premium features enabled. So let's dive in and take a look at the new premium features. So if you open the edit panel and you close the levels, then you can see we have game and here is a new data item. If we open that one, we see that we have a collection of different items. These are now the default ones, but you can add your own if you want. If you click on one, the small health potion, it has a name, it has an icon, and you can also have an effect. Right now it's only none or health, but more will be added in the future, of course. And the icon, you can change it, and I have a whole bunch of icons here that you can select from. So if you want to create a new item, let's do that. So let's click the plus here. Let's name it Big Sword. We will change the icon. Let's pick this icon here. Effect, we keep it at none because it's not restoring or taking any health from us. Okay, and that's it. We now have a new item. Let's close this one. Now, if we go to the pickups, so we go to the actors, select objects. Here is the default pickup, but we can now customize it. So let's drag one over here. We have a pickup. Let's change the properties. So as you can see now, we have an item attached to it. So now we can select the big sword. And as you can see, we now have a big sword pickup. Another thing that I added is after that the hero picks up a pickup, then you can also do some custom actions. Now I added this and this is available for everybody. So not only the premium version. Let's click on that one. So we can insert an action here. We could say the hero. Let's make the hero's damage a bit higher. So let's go here to swing weapon ability and damage. And then what does the damage do? Well, it becomes 20. So I think the default is 10. So now actually the hero will do more damage with the sword. And then we can still add another action, which is if we go to interface, I added two new actions here, but remark that these ones are premium specific. So you will need the premium version to be able to use this. The first one is it will show a dialogue with a specific title. The second one is that it also shows a dialogue, but you don't have a title with it. It's just a text, a button and an icon. So let me select the one with the title. Okay. So here we can give a title, big sword, next info text, you found a big sword that does a lot of damage. Next one, we can also customize the bottom text. So let's just say nice here. Next, and then we pick an icon. So we can pick the same sword icon here. Okay, that's it. Let's test it out. So let's continue playing here. We go to the pickup. Okay, you picked up the sword. Here is the title. You have the sword icon here. And then the text is you find a big sword that does a lot of damage. And here is the button. Nice. Okay. 
So those are the new features that I added with, of course, the premium features included in this one. But then you know how to use it. If you are excited about all this, then please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. One other improvement that I added for everyone is easier screenplay editing. Every action is now a list item, so you can make no mistake of having the wrong number of spaces. For the rest, I fixed some bugs. The most annoying one was that extra lines were added to screenplays. That's it for this release. Go check it out, buy the premium version and support this project. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.